Hey everyone and welcome back. So this is going to be a slightly different video than usual. I get the question quite often now in many of my videos on what different plugins I'm using for the interface in Unreal. So today I'll be going through all of the different options that I've found to make Unreal look a little bit better. Unreal of course is a great engine, but one of the things I've always had a little bit of a problem with is the kind of chunky, somewhat old looking interface. And it's more than just the fact that the, the buttons are all using the beveled gradient thing and look as though they were ripped directly from Windows XP. When you're working with a package pretty much all day, every day, the environment that you're working in can be very, very important. And it's even down to things like the real estate and the screen space that you can gain from using a kind of more minimal and clean interface. So in this video, we're gonna go through the process of downloading, installing, and getting the interfaces that I use into your version of Unreal. I'm gonna go through two different options. I have a free version, and I've recently come across and am quite enamored with an option that you can find on the marketplace for a relatively cheap price. I'm gonna start off with the free version that I have here. So this is the version you'll see in most of my videos. This is just from a GitHub repository. Very, very simple to install. And again, we'll go through that process in a moment. Okay, so this is the GitHub repository that we want to access for the first option. This is UE4 Minimal. If you type something like UE4 Minimal UI into Google, you will usually be directed here. I'll provide this link in the description down below though, so you can drop straight into the GitHub repository. And this is of course a free option and very, very simple to set up. So you'll come here, we'll download the code package. This will give you a zip folder with the editor slate and slate in it. So these are going to be the files which will be overriding for our engine content just a little bit later. If you wanted to follow the process manually, or if you ever needed a recap, if you're using this again in the future, because you will need to do this for every different engine version that you install, then the steps, like I've mentioned, are very, very simple. You go to your engine content folder and you simply drag in the editor slate and the slate folder into the content folder where you've installed your engine. As a very quick example of what I mean by this though, this is going to be in the C drive, program files, Epic games, and then the version that you want to install this to, then engine and content. What you'll be replacing are the editor and the slate folders. We're gonna be pasting everything in here and it will ask if you're okay with overriding everything within these folders. If you select yes, then that will make all of the changes for you. And of course you can go through on an individual file or folder basis and remove or take the things that you don't want to change out of the update. And that is pretty much it. So I of course already have all of this installed. Once you've taken those first steps though, if you were to close and reopen any of the projects that you have installed for that version, this will be a engine wide update. So all of your projects will now look like this. And it also includes and updates things like the blueprint nodes. So everything in the blueprints will, will also look a little bit cleaner and you get these kind of flat and clean nodes in the blueprints, the materials, and pretty much everything inside of Unreal. So if you've been following the content on my channel for the last year or two, this is going to be the interface you're very familiar with seeing. And this is the one that people normally are asking how I get the flat and minimal UI style. Okay, so the second option and the interface that you may be seeing more going forward in the future videos on the channel is this one here called Darker Nodes by Herobrine. Now, another one to mention as well is that they also have a second plugin called Electronic Nodes. I've actually been using Electronic Nodes in the past before the actual interface overhaul. And this one affects just the nodes to make the wires a little bit tidier, a little bit straighter and easier to manage. It's only recently that I realized that they also have this darker nodes modern theme for the actual Unreal editor. And again, this looks very, very nice. Now, unfortunately, if you buy one of the packs, you don't get the other. So to get the full thing, you will need to buy both plugins. Like I said, they're both relatively cheap. And just to mention, I've never even had contact with the creator of this. So this isn't a sponsored video. I've purchased both of these for testing and just found that I actually quite like having them installed in the editor. So again, these are very easy to get. If you wanted to try them out, then it's as simple as buying them. You install it to the engine version that you want. It's currently supporting uh, 4.24 up to 26. Once you've installed it to your engine versions, you can then add these to a per project basis like you would any other plugin based on the engine versions. 
Again, links for those will be provided in the description below. I'll just give you a quick run through of how we can get these uh, working and some of the updates that I quite like about having this version over the minimal UI from the Git repository, because you do get a lot of flexibility with this approach. So assuming that you've already purchased and installed this to your engine version, we're gonna go to edit, plugins, and from here, we can see that these are installed. I'm going to install both of these, and this will of course require the project to be restarted. With that done, we can see that the editor has been completely overhauled with this new minimal UI. So these are quite nice. They come with some very simple, very minimal icons. Everything feels very nice and flat. What I like about this is if we go back in to the edit and the editor preferences here, we actually have a lot of control over this one. It's very simple to update the appearance of this plugin. So if we go down to plugins and go to the darker notes plugin, there are some things which will update automatically, which is great. Some of them, however, do require a project restart. Now, the first thing that I would change here is that even though I like the darker themes, this one is a little bit too dark. Uh, we can change it from dark, darker, darkest. So dark looks a lot more like something like Photoshop, and then darkest is very, very dark. Now, I'm actually quite happy with the darker one. The one that I tend to change is that I'll change it from the temperature from normal to cool. This just looks a little bit nicer, I think. And we can change the primary color for the way that things are going to be hovered and highlighted. So again, very simple updates that can be made here. And then you can change other things down here. Now, these are the ones which tend to require the project to be restarted. So we can change the node radius and the variable radius and things like that. Uh, this is actually, rather than the actual overall radius, this rounds the edges. So if you put it something like 10, you'll get rounded edges rather than square edges. And we can change the nodes from thin to thick lines. And we can also change the variable nodes to be either different types of glass, which is just a transparent node and uh, or solid with a light or dark finish. There's a lot more you can go through in here, but you can see the main thing is that this is very, very flexible and the same for their electronic nodes plugin. So that's one thing I like about this, like I've said, over the Git version is that we actually have a lot of flexibility inside of the engine with these. So then the next thing is the nodes option. So if we go into a blueprint, this will change. Like I said, we've got the, the way that the wires are just kind of immediately a little bit tidier and easier to set up with the electric nodes plugin. So this is both of the plugins installed. If you didn't have the electric nodes plugin, you wouldn't be getting these flat straight wires. You do need both for the blueprints to be affected as well as the user interface. If you just had the dark nodes plugin, you would be getting the blueprint nodes looking different though. It's just the wires which require the second plugin. And this is what was being described just now in the variable with the glass transparency. You can see the semi kind of transparent node effect going on here. And again, you can very easily change that to be fully solid if you didn't like that update. And that one does require an engine restart to see those. Some other things to note with this plugin is that the documentation is very, very well done on the Git repository that they provide for all of their documentation. The frequently asked questions and things are very useful. We can go down to the FAQ and something that I'm going to use here. So this is then very similar to the original free version of the minimal UI, which I showed first of all in the video. We can make this work on all of the projects for the installed version by going to another folder structure inside of the installed engine version. So inside of, let's say 4.26, we can go to engine, plugins, marketplace, and the dark nodes. And we can override the options here for this to always be enabled by default. So that just means that any project in that engine version should then start using the darker nodes plugin. So going forward, I will probably be using the darker nodes plugin and the electronic nodes plugin for most of my projects, just because again, it just feels a little bit nicer to be working with for the majority of a day. And they're very easy to update and customize. So I just wanted to share the different options available because I do find this to be quite a common question that I see on the channel. So I figured that this is something that people would like to know a little bit more about. As I mentioned, I've never been contacted or spoken to the developer of this. I've purchased and sourced these by myself. As I said, very, very cheap anyway. Uh, you can see from the ratings, they're very popular. And I imagine if you did have any questions, I'm going to guess that they're going to be quite active. And that's normally reflected in the ratings here. So something definitely to take a look at if you wanted to just overhaul and maybe improve the engine user interface aesthetics a little bit in your projects. And I wanted to let people know exactly what I have installed for the projects that I use and that you'll see quite a lot featured in the tutorials on the channel.
So hopefully you found something useful here. If you have used either of these options or any of the three options, the electronic nodes, the darker nodes, or the minimal UI from the first GitHub repository, let me know down in the description below. Let me know which options you've gone for. And of course, if you've enjoyed the video, I found this useful, please do leave a like and share the video around. That is greatly appreciated and really helps the channel to reach as many people as possible. As ever though, thanks for watching and I will see you all next time.